everybody, my name is Brandon and today I'm going to be walking you through installing Drone Link on your DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise. To do this, you need to get your remote and power it on. And once you have done that, you will have to make sure that it is connected to the internet. To do this, we will go down to settings on the home screen. And the very first item is network and internet. Go ahead and click this. As you can see, I'm already connected to the internet. If you are not connected to your network, just go ahead and go through all the prompts and connect it like you would any other device like your cell phone or tablet. And once you are connected to the internet, you should see an emblem in the top right corner that looks like a pie, annotating that we are connected to the internet. So now you can go ahead and swipe up from the bottom and minimize the menu. And next, we need to navigate to Firefox. We are going to download the files over Firefox. Once you have your internet open, you need to go to dronelink.com forward slash download. And this is what the page will look like once you get there. It's pretty simple. We're just going to go ahead and scroll down and select our drone from the list here. So we go ahead and hit the little carrot, select DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise Series, and then you can scroll down and you will see a picture of a remote. Go ahead and click on that remote and it will pull up the APK file, which we will have to download. This may come up quickly or slowly depending on your internet speed. As you can see here, it says download. I will go ahead and download. And this is just essentially a security measure we need to go ahead and download it anyways. And then a prompt pops up, go ahead and download. And this is going ahead and downloading right now. Again, download speeds vary on your network at home. All right, now it pops up and we need to go ahead and open the file. And then it asks, would you like to install the application? Yes, we would like to install the application. So now it says the app is installed. We need to go ahead and open the app. Allow DroneLink DJI to access the device's location. Allow while using the app. So now we have the app downloaded on our controller. The next step is we need to either log into an existing account or we will have to create a DroneLink account to log in. Now that you have DroneLink installed on your remote, I would like to walk you through some basic settings that you need to have applied before you get out in the field to try and do a cell tower inspection. First of all, we're gonna launch the app and we will enter our drone. You will need to have your drone turned on for this step. As you can see, here's the home screen. We will be navigating up to the top right corner with the three dots. Go ahead and select that. And you can see here, here's where you're going to put your safety parameters, your maximum flight altitude, your return home altitude. Um, so make sure you know where these settings are before you get in the field. Next, we're going to net jump over to the remote control setting. We're going to go into the customize RC buttons and I will go ahead and expand this. I will click the show more button. So you can see we are going to leave the pause button for the mission to stop. Make sure you familiarize yourself with this button because when you are using the DroneLink app, the proximity sensors that are on your DJI drone do not work. The obstacle avoidance is bypassed when you are using DroneLink. So keep that in the back of your mind and always be prepared to stop your automated mission. So the first button we're going to have here is the pause set to stop. Next, we are going to set the C1 button to decrease EV. That button is the bottom left button down here under the remote control. And then we are going to set C2, which is the right button there, to increase EV. While you're out in the field flying around a cell tower, if it's a sunny day, you will notice that one side of the tower is brighter and the other side usually has shadows. You need to familiarize yourself with these buttons so you can increase or decrease the EV values as you orbit around the structure. 
Um, the last one we need to set here is we need to go into C3 and we are gonna scroll down to mission start stop. That is this button located on the front of the controller to the top right corner. And that is going to engage your orbits or stop your orbits when you're out on your mission. Next, we're gonna jump out and we're gonna go to the camera settings. You wanna make sure that your photo format is in JPEG. And then I personally have the tap to focus slash spot meter turned on. And that way, if you are flying your orbits and you notice that the tower is out of focus, you can tap the center of the screen to bring it back in focus. Remember, the client is paying for good photos. They need nice, clear photos. Um, the only other option that is turned on on this screen is the zoom controls, as you can see. And now we will jump out. The next setting is the gimbal settings. And I just leave that as it is. You don't need to go in there and change anything. And then we are gonna jump to the top right setting. It's a little box with a sprocket on it. And here we need to scroll down. We need to turn on the grid lines. That is very important. So then that way you have a reference point to make sure that your tower is in the center frame as you're doing your orbits. Without it, it's pretty much, uh, it's difficult to do without it. The other setting we need to turn on here is the heading and gimbal attitude. You wanna have this turned on so you can see your gimbal angle while you're in the field conducting your orbits. And then another recommended setting is the extended mission summary. If you turn this on right before you start your orbit, a little menu will pop up just to make sure you have all your settings correct before it engages. And then I usually scroll down to the bottom and I turn off the confetti when the mission is accomplished. Um, that's not really necessary. I mean, you're welcome to leave it on, but remember time is money and the longer it takes you, the less money you're gonna make. Now that I've walked you through the basic settings in your Drone Link app, I recommend you go out to the nearest park or field and practice flying some orbits and familiarize yourself with the Drone Link app. Get familiar with the prompts that will pop up on the right side of your screen as you initiate an orbit and get familiar with the C1, C2 buttons adjusting the EV on the fly. Uh, I also want you to remember, this is very important, please note that your proximity sensors on your drone do not work while you are inside of the Drone Link app. So this means your obstacle avoidance is disabled and bypassed. So be prepared to take over your drone, pull the sticks, press the pause button, do whatever you need to ensure a safe flight. And remember, if you have any questions or concerns, you can always drop into the DroneU community where you can ask your peers and fellow instructors for any tips or tricks or if you have any questions along the way. I hope that you guys have learned from this video. Remember, when you're out there, have fun and be safe.